Looks like we're doing we're not play. hearing you guys. To the flag of the United States of America. America and, to the, and to the republic for which it stands, stands one nation, God, under God, under God indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice, justice for, all. for all. Okay, we cannot, I cannot hear Jeff. No, I can't God. either. I can't either. That's why we didn't know you guys were saying the pledge and we were delayed. No Jeff, voice. I think you're muted. Um, here? Uh, where did you go? Okay, you John, going? we can hear you. Okay. And if you're not muted. Testing one, two, three. I hear you, no, Jeff. I can hear you. No, I can. Everybody can hear me now? Yes. Yes. Can we do the pledge again just to see if we can get it all in sync? I think I did it good. <laughs> Roll call, please, Diane. Ken Anderson. Here. Sue Filick. Here. Bill Graberic. Here. Chris Mondi is absent. Pat Schuberg. Here. Matt Wilson. Here. Jeff Walter. Here. All right. All the boards that are here. Uh, Public comment, awards, and presentations. Have we got any public comments now? We have no public comments. We have we have one one we public. Have, we have one public in the room who would like to comment. Yes, sir. What can we do for you? Bruce Adderman. Um, I'd just like to thank the board for opening up the meeting um, tonight and also the last meeting via Zoom and also this meeting via Zoom. Thank you for the public to making things transparent. All right. You're very welcome, Mr. Adderman. We appreciate that. Glad you came out tonight. Yeah. Where's Leroy? Did nobody tell Leroy this was an open meeting? <laughs> Don't know if he'd be out anyways. All right. I need a motion to approve the omnibus agenda, which now includes the village board minutes of April 20th and the executive session minutes of April 20th. I'll move it. Second by Trustee Schubert. Roll call vote, please, Diane. I can't hear Diane. Ken Anderson. There we go. Sue Filick. Here. Yes, I. Bill Graberic. I. Pat Pat Schuberg. I. Matt Wilson. I. <clears throat> Motion carries. All right, under mayor tonight, I've got a couple things. I've got a proclamation to read for motorcycle awareness. I know this was read at a previous meeting, but we have someone. We have Mr. Chris Hansen here tonight, who is the president of Detain Abate, Abate, which stands for. Always bring alcohol to events or the Brotherhood for Education. All right, either way, we'll go, we'll go with either one of those. All right, Proclamation for Motorcycle Awareness Month, whereas motorcycle riding is a popular form of recreation and transportation for thousands of people across the state and nation, and whereas motorcycles are a common and economic means of transportation that reduces fuel consumption and road wear and contributes in a significant way to the relief of traffic and parking congestion. And whereas the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Motorcycle Safety Foundation have named May as Motorcycle Safety Awareness Month. And whereas states and motorcycle organizations across this country will be conducting a variety of activities for, to promote the importance of motorist awareness and safely sharing the road with motorcycles and remind riders to make themselves more visible to others and whereas the village of Elburn wishes to promote the safety campaign of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and their effort to ensure the safety and well being of all. Whereas all highway users should unite in the safe sharing of roadways throughout the village of Elburn, Kane County, and Illinois, with all others on the roadway. Now, therefore, I, Jeffrey D. Walker, village president of the village of Elburn, do hereby proclaim the month of May 2020 as Motorcycle Safety Awareness Month and urge all motor vehicle operators to join in this effort to keep our highways safe. 
Um, I'm going to give this to Chris, so I'm going to disappear for a minute unless John turns his computer around and may see me. I don't know. You see me walk by, John. No, you won't. A little bit. <laughs> i got to get rid of the virtual background. I'll frame for you. Congratulations. Yeah, I'll take care. Thanks. Anything you want to say about uh, what's going on this weekend? Uh, anything else? Um, yeah, we've got the uh, Motorcycle Awareness Day this Saturday, so thanks for letting us do that. Uh, being out on 47, and uh, thank you to you and Elvern and your wife for helping out with all these birthday parades we've been doing. It was very fun and got us out of the house to ride our motorcycles. So very we'll happy. talk a little bit more about that too in a minute. So right. everybody here that this Saturday from 11 to 2 on the corner of Route 38 and Route 47. Uh, Kane of Bates will be conducting motorcycle awareness event with uh, along with the participation of Elburn's finest. So I would not be on your phone texting when you go by that intersection this weekend or any other weekend for that matter. <laughs> I mean, there's a catfish. I hear there's <clears throat> rocks and water afterwards. Yeah, knuckleheads is actually going to be uh, serving curbside rocks, rocks and chips at 2 o'clock. Okay. So, I don't know if you heard that. Can you guys hear it, Chris? Or, no, maybe. You guys? It's hard to hear it. Yeah, there's, there's going to be rocks and uh, water and knuckleheads after the event at uh, 2 p.m. Nice. Well, that's curbside, though. That's it back down at Knuckleheads. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Pick up all night and carry out. Yeah. Um, as Chris mentioned, and I think a lot of you have seen the emails, um, a few weeks ago, someone reached out to me for a birthday parade uh, for her son. Uh, someone who was, she was born and raised here in Elburn, um, moved to Detroit where she's a uh, registered nurse at a hospital working in a COVID unit actually. And they sent their son back to Elburn and his birthday was two weekends ago, not this past weekend. But mm -hmm. And they asked if we could do a birthday parade. So uh, knowing a couple people in this town, I sent an email out and the response was overwhelming. We had 69 motorcycles, 68 Harleys and my son's Yamaha. So we'll, we'll call it 69 motorcycles. Uh, the Jeep club was there, the Corvette club was there, the fire department, the police department, and these parades have kind of started up as a new way to uh, shelter in place, celebrate birthdays. So we did, uh, mm -hmm. well, Cana Bay's been doing four or five every weekend, uh, the motorcycle group. Uh, we did, how many did you do this weekend? Four on Saturday? Four, three Saturday, uh, two Friday, three Saturday, four Sunday. Two Friday, three Saturday, and four Sunday. And, and the ones that wow. are Melbourne, um, we participated in. Uh, Carrie and I, as well as the fire department, police department, uh, we're out there as well. So um, you may all be hearing about these in your neighborhood, or maybe, you know, you may have people reach out to you wondering, how do I get one of these going for my family, for my child, for whatever. Um, the best way to do that is to reach out to me or Carrie. Carrie's kind of coordinating this with all the groups, with fire police, with us, with uh, Duquesne Abate, with, and then Chris has his connections with the, the Jeep Club, and, and then John and uh, Dan Kolzow uh, are bringing the Legionnaires out with their Corvettes and their cars and such. So, um, so if you hear of anybody that's looking, is interested in doing this, just have them send an email to my village email, or if, they, if you have my home email, feel free to give that out. And Carrie then will coordinate with all these groups, try to get it together here in Elburn. I believe there's one coming up Wednesday mm -hmm. and one on Wednesday Saturday, right? Friday. Friday. That Wednesday, was Friday. Friday? Yeah, Wednesday and Friday. Mm -hmm. We got a request for one on Saturday today, but I don't think she sent that. Okay. And then they got all right. So so these are coming in. So if you I know we uh we prayed it past uh, Trustee Wilson's house on Saturday, uh, who was practicing safe distancing, uh, enjoying a cold beverage. Uh so if you, if you know if anybody <laughs> you know this What's that, Matt? You're, you were a little weak there. I said I barely even noticed you guys go by. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so if you know of anybody, please reach out. We don't want anybody to think this is just a Blackberry thing. This is an all of Elburn thing. Anybody that asks, we'll do our best to uh, do something for them. Uh, the first one two weeks ago was in, in Prairie Valley, uh, probably the biggest one so far, but uh, 
Uh, we did one with, with uh, the motorcycle guy Saturday after Blackberry. We went out to the middle of the country, out in Maple Park, and did a farmhouse for our girls turning 18. So that's uh, kind of fun if you want to join. We'll get you the information. Feel free to come out, get out of the house. Um, if you want to leave your spouse at home just to get some free time away from them, you know, feel free. Come on out. All right. That's all I have under mayor. Uh, village attorney, Bill. Um, update on the Anderson Road land acquisition. We had a deadline to submit paperwork to IDOT, who then had to submit it to central management. Received a letter April 24th from IDOT indicating that uh, the above reference project for Anderson Road has been certified, the parcels have been secured, the interests were acquired, and so it has been submitted for the department's June 12th, 2020 letting. Good news. Good news. And then uh, other than that update, that's all I have. Okay. Thanks, sir. And now we're going to start. Thanks, sir. You probably should wait Well, I can mute, mute your or, or turn the TV back down. Okay. That's better. I can still hear myself back there, but it's all right. Uh, Village Clerk, Diane? No report. John Admin? Uh, I don't have anything at the moment. I will have something later on in the meeting. All right. Tom, building and finance? Or zoning, I'm sorry, building and zoning? No report. Doug, you've got something on the agenda tonight. The village has participated with NIMAC for oh, a lot of years and it's a collaborative of 150 some communities that joined together to purchase electricity. This particular contract is for the electricity for the street lighting. And so um, what this does is it authorizes us to participate with NIMEC in their bidding process for this coming year. And the bidding process is June the 4th and they will seek bids for street lighting for all of the participating communities. And they typically go to three different suppliers, Constellation, Dynagy, and MC Squared, and usually come up with a lot better price than we could do on our own. So what this resolution does is authorizes us to participate in that bid process again this year. All right, then can I have a motion to approve resolution 2020-06, authorizing the participation of the Northern Illinois Municipal Electric Collaborative. I'll move it. Moved by Trustee Schuberg, second. I'll second. Second by Trustee Wilson. Roll call vote, please. Ken Anderson. Aye. Sue Filick. Did we lose her? Yeah, she's I gone. See her? Okay. Bill Grabarek. I saw the mouth of I, but he's Did, got no verbal. Was that an I? He said I. Okay. We heard him in the room. It was an I. Pat Schuberg. I. Matt Wilson. I. All right. Do we wait a minute for Sue to come back in? I think John's texting her right now. What do you want to do? Uh, 
Okay, well, I think we've got motion carried on that, right, Diane? Okay. All right, anything else, Doug? No, nope, that's all I have. Anything for Doug? Chief, Police Department? Well, I was going to talk about all the birthday parades we've been doing, but you pretty much already covered that. So <laughs> we'll, uh, well, that, um, we're still waiting. Just a, one quick update in regards to Officer Tarek, our officer that partially completed the police academy and has been back in training. Uh, we got another update in the la over the last weekend from the academy. They're still working with the Illinois Law Enforcement Training and Standards Board to try to get things resolved to get those um, mostly trained officers back in for the final requirements under the training standards. And we're still kind of waiting to hear when that's gonna happen, but we're continuing with his field training program. He is out, so we are getting that uh, put behind us as we're waiting for that to happen. I'll keep the board updated as we continue to get more information on that. So they're hopeful something will happen in the next couple of weeks with the allowances that have been made. And um, that's all I've got for right now. All right, thanks, Chief. Anything for the Chief? Welcome back, Trustee Filek. So oh, sorry, guys. I just froze up. Got kicked it's out. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Phil, Public Works. All right, uh, discuss and approve a contract with Shamrock Hardscapes uh, for services in Prairie Valley uh, in their special service area in Metra. For uh, <clears throat> As soon as I turn the page, and they came in at uh, for the two combined is twenty five thousand three hundred and twenty four, and they were actually six hundred and twenty seven dollars uh, less than what we've been paying. So hmm. uh, th that's where we're at with that. They were at sixty three hundred dollars for Metra, which Skolmeyer had been at sixty three hundred, and then the SSA they were at. Uh, 19,024, so that's where we're at. We're All right, do I have a motion then to approve the contract with Shamrock Hardscape 7 restoration for landscape services in the Prairie Valley, SSA, and Metro? I'll move Moved it. by Trustee Gerberic, second by Trustee Schubert. Is that what I heard? Yes. Yes. Roll call vote, please. Ken Anderson. Aye. Sue Filek. Aye. Bill Graberic. Aye. Pat Schuberg. Aye. Matt Wilson. Aye. Motion carries. And uh, Phil, I had a call Friday from a gentleman named Reynolds. You may have heard of him. Lives up uh, in the Prairie Valley area. I've heard of him. Yeah, he's wondering when his grass behind his house is going to get cut. Well, I think that's going to be cut on Tuesday or Wednesday. Of Wednesday. Week. Yeah, Wednesday, was it? Okay. Yeah. Um, so, so they're going to start on Wednesday? Yep, yep. And this contract you just approved? Yes. That's why I was giving him a hard time. He knew. All right. Uh, anything else, Phil? Anything else, Phil? Only uh, we've got uh, Campton Construction set the box culverts over in Prairie, uh, over at the uh, park, Prairie Park, and other than that, we've been just been busy with the mowing and mostly uh, tree trimming. So that's pretty much what Public Works have been dealing with. And then we've been doing a little bit of work at Metra, helping uh, our chief out. So he should be all set with his camera, conduit, and what have you. So. All right. Anything for Phil? Anything for Phil? I had a question. I seen some comments or questions about residents wondering what's going on at Prairie Park. Is there anything on our website that's talking about the park restoration and what we're doing or why? I believe, now Diane, you please tell me if I'm wrong, but I didn't we put that on the Elburn site? We did. We just said um, improvements were beginning, but we didn't detail what the improvements were going to be. I think residents, if it's if it's possible, just to say, you know, that we're removing the the gazebo um, 
I don't think we have, we don't have a plan for replacing it right away, but you know, we could at least say, you know, if there's something that we're doing. No, that's, that's fine. That's fine. I just, when we originally put it out there, I didn't want to elaborate too much because I really couldn't tell them exactly what, what's going to be put up and what it's going to look like. Indeed. Yes. So. We definitely have a plan for Prairie Park. Uh, would like to replace the gazebo, but uh, we will have that conversation a little bit later on when we start talking about budget and revenue. Understood. Okay, anything else, Phil? Mm -hmm. Bill, the bills list. Uh, Mayor, I mean, the bills list for this case and found everything to be in order and consequently would move to approve said bills list in the amount of one second, I got it right in front of me. $81,847.50. Moved by Trustee Gerberic. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by Trustee Filek. Roll call vote, please. Ken Anderson. Aye. Sue Filek. Aye. Phil Gerberic. Pat Schuberg. Aye. Matt Wilson. Aye. Motion carries. The bills are paid. Uh, I'm going to flip flop 17 and 16. Well, yeah, 16 and 15. I'm sorry. So we're going to do other business first, and then we've got an executive session on a different Zoom. So, is there any other business to come before the board? All right. I need a motion to go into executive session under 5 ILCS 120 slash 2. Two, collective negotiating matters between the public body and the employees or their representatives or deliberations concerning salary schedules for one or more classes of employees. I'll move it. Second by Trustee Schuber. Roll call vote, please. Ken Anderson. Aye. Sue Filek. Aye. Bill Graberic. Aye. Pat Schuberg. Aye. Matt Wilson. Aye. Motion carries. All right, we'll drop this Zoom and join everyone on the executive session Zoom. Susan, we have another Zoom for the cow. If you want to rejoin us there, it's at the top of the cow agenda, but okay. you will, we won't have you on the executive session. Right. Okay. All right. Thanks. Okay. Okay.